What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John from the Gamer here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Log. Welcome into today's lovely Monday episode of Gen Log. Uh, kind of wild. It might be Sunday. Probably not, though. It's probably Monday, and hopefully, you guys had a fantastic Sunday. Um, if you guys didn't check out the Pokemon Go video that I posted yesterday, then uh, I'm gonna look like a fool if I didn't post it. But yeah, how are you doing today? Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Let me know how that went. Hopefully it went well. Um, we have a little bit of a leveled up team. We leveled up our team up to level 39 and Nick up to 40. Nick becomes the first mod to hit 40, but we got Dottie hit the Machamp. Level 40 with Sacred Sword, Brick Break, Liquidation, and Cotton Guard with Sapset Person ability. As we're encoding overloading again, and I know exactly why, it's kind of annoying. Um, I should have restarted my computer, but I was not really prepared for that. Uh, we got Sandy with Liquidation, Headbutt, Moonblast, and Dragon Claw and with the Expert Belt, hold it, or with the Weak Armor ability. We got Papa with Liquidation, x Scissor, Dizzy Punch, and Play Rough. We have Nick with his Photom Geyser. We have Nick with Photom Geyser, Moon Geyser Beam, Earth Power, and Volt Switch. We have Finna, because he Finna sweeps with Dazzling Gleam, Discharge, Waterfall, and Hyper Fang. And we got Drake with level 39 with the Amulet Coin, Cheek Pouch ability with Sparkling Aria, Yawn, Psychic, and Dragon Dance. Uh, movesets kind of on the iffy. Um, let's make sure that I have my experience share on. I should. Do you want to... Experience share has been turned off. Turn that thing on. Um, because we gotta fight Guzma today, and Guzma's gonna have six mons, and we got two encounters on top of that. So, we got a good mon for generation six or generation two in the last episode. So we got a good backup for Sophie or Sophia if Sophia ends up dying, which I don't want Sophia to die. So we want that ground ball to stay safe and sound for the entirety of this playthrough. Um, hopefully we can keep that being the case. Um, but yeah, we have a Guzma fight today, and of course. Hopefully Guzma doesn't like doesn't want to destroy us, but he could. He could he could be out to get us. And it's definitely nerve-wracking fighting like Guzma or some of those like big players. Um so crossing my fingers, dotting our eyes. Or crossing our T's and dotting our eyes. Crossing our fingers and dotting our eyes. Yep, that's 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 a saying. John 2020. Crossing our fingers and dotting our eyes. <laughs> That's what you get over on the Gamer Duo. Um, random things. Um, let's go skull. Let's skull them beats. You know, you got beats by Dre. You've got the Skull Candy headphones. The fact that I know that that's a thing is pretty good considering I'm completely out of the loop on everything else um still don't even know who you Sharifu is like whatever that thing is I, I, it's like a bear or something that's all I know like because Ursa um is bear um that's about it that's all I know so uh I forgot that music in this game bops the way it does but it's episode 26 can you even believe that it's episode 26 like it does not feel like it's episode 26 already. That series is just... I mean, I, I it really hasn't flying, flown by. It's been a lot longer of a series. But I'm down with that because we like longer series as, as such, such as this. Because then there's a lot... The, and, and whole, like you guys get to hang out. You guys get to chill. These episode lengths are shorter. And they're just... The next series, they are, the next series are going to have a shorter length. Um, but this series has been awesome nonetheless. I can't wait to see what happens in the future. But, 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 this is our first fight with Guzma, I believe, as well. So, you've got an Oddish to lead off. Let's freaking go. We'll take that. Oddish is easy. Um, I should not say that because it could whip with the sludge bomb out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm so glad I trained up to level 39. Let's go. That's exactly what level you are. Bruh, the levels just went like that. Like, out of nowhere and I don't even know like I don't know how or what caused them to go like that out of nowhere other than our level boost but even then it's like kind of ridiculous 
Although, Nick, you better do some good work here because you, are, my friend, are about to sweep this guy, okay? This is an oddish. You can throw some geyser at all you want. Razor shell. Ooh, uh, weird move, but we'll take it. You know, I set myself up for this one. <laughs> I really did. I was like, oh, this is going to be an easy battle. We're totally fine. And no, we're not. That's a plus two attack Oddish. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Die, die, die. Okay. Holy cannoli. Why, Oddish? I love you, but why? It, it, it's my own fault for saying, oh, this is going to be easy. We got this. Oh, gosh. Clang. I've got earth power for that. So I can heal and earth power that at plus one. Um. Wow, okay. You know, in another vlog like this, you really don't want to be on par. You want to be like two or three levels above. Which is kind of what I was going for by being at level 30. Oh! Let's not! Let's, let's, please let's not do that. Um, I'm faster though, so I should be able to earth power and it should oh co. I'm not faster. Gothita, I forgot how slow you are. That should oh co. It didn't oh co. How? You are at plus one, Gothita. How in the world did you not oh co with an earth power? That's one of the strongest freaking ground type moves in the game. That is the strongest special grass or ground type move in the game. And you still can't out code things. You've got a really strong move set. And I don't know what if it is just your like stats, but my golly gee Whitakers. Oh, I hate the fact that you're not like I'm risking a crit by doing what I'm doing, but I have to because bug buzz is hundred percent accurate. It doesn't matter. Ah, oh, wow. That was a high roll. I never saw a high roll until now. Oh my gosh, Nick. You're not supposed to be this bad. Like, I'm... There's so many better Gen 5 mons. I mean, I might... I don't want to Swadloon. Swadloon is bug grass, and I don't have anything for you, so I'm going to go ahead and switch. Nick, it's not supposed to be that bad. Yeah, because I don't... I guess I, I have a Moon Guys beam, but your bug... Again, your bug grass... The last thing I want to do is risk that, but I mean, I don't have, I don't have, how, how do I not have anything for that typing? Oh wait, no, I do. I have a pop, 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 refrigerate, refrigerate exists. Oh my gosh. Like, what happened to the levels? <laughs> like, they just were like, oh, hi, uh, yeah, level boost, bop, bop, like, let me uppercut you with this level boost. It's like, oh, that's not good. Okay. So I'm exactly on par. That's not even a kill. Oh my gosh. Hurricane. Of course you land it. Makes sense that you would go for that though. Because your bug stab and your grass stab are resisted. Um, so we bobbed the Swadloon. Nothing too crazy yet. I'm saying yet because I already kind of have a sick feeling. Um, that he's going to have something. Yep. How did I call that one? Had an easy battle thus far. Uh, okay. Extra sensory. That's going to hurt because you actually have good psychic stab. Because, of course, you'd have a psychic type with a decent stab. Um, that does not even... Oh, my... Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. That didn't even do 30%. And if it did, that's just barely 30%. Ah! Like... Mm. Extra sensor. Like, why? And it's a move that can flinch, too, when I'm not faster. Ooh! My team is so... The problem is that my team is slow and doesn't have very good defenses. Like, that's I, that's my biggest problem. I, I've got slow sweepers. That doesn't work very well together. Um, With Gatita being... Oh, my... Hmm. Because we got Gothita, who's a slow sweeper. Daddy is a slow sleeper. Yeah, our team is 
literally full on slow sweepers other than Latios, and we can't even use Latios because it doesn't have a good move set. It's like it's got psychic. It's got good. Oh my god, it's got good psychic stab. I'm faster than this, please. Nope, I'm not. Ah, uh, don't crit. Well, another OG bites the dust. Another OG bites the dust. And that's turn seven, too. Oh, we don't have any backups for that either. No, we do, but it's still. Oh. Boy. That's an OG. Like, I could have swapped and done this move a long time ago. It, but I don't know what it had. And I X's are... It's a Uxie. It, it's a tank. I'm not blaming... I can't do anything except for, you know, that happened. But... Oh, my God. No! Another bulky psychic type. That's... I knew I, I had a sick feeling to my stomach. I knew this was going to be bad. And Nick... I mean, Nick can handle this. I could have swapped into Nick on this. No, because Nick wouldn't have taken the damage. Ah. Two, bulky psychic type. The one thing I don't need to be fighting right now. There's the one thing I am fighting. I guess we go into Nick. What was causing you to do so much? Did it, like, Earth Power? Or it didn't call mine. Did I just miss? I had to have missed something when I was healing. But... I, uh, there's no way I didn't miss it because it was it, it felt like it was doing way more damage than it was previously um, Gosh, that's another that's an oh, that's the starter like that hits hard Guzma takes out the starter brutal oh god Great, okay Brutal swing is luckily physical and not special Oh, let's not crit, please. Ha! <laughs> That's pitiful! That is pitiful the amount of damage we're doing to these bulky psychic types. Ah! Like these... Why? Why do you have... You don't have just Uxie. No, 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 no. You have to have both bulky psychic types. The two bulkiest psychic types in existence, like... Wow, that did absolutely nothing. Like, I could go into Fitta, I guess. That's kind of what I have to do. Because Brutal Swing. Like, ugh, it has dark, co it's got dark coverage, which, da, freaking sucks. Um, It sucks that you have coverage. Because, like, it having coverage, reflect, Oh, gosh. A good thing I'm using special moves, but still. We don't like to see that. Um. What? Oh my god. No. <laughs> no. No way. I think this is the longest. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Wonder Guard Cresselia? I gotta check everybody's moves. 
But I think Nick's the only one that can hit it. And it's got a super effective move for Nick. No super effective move. Nothing super effective against Psychic. Nothing super effective against Psychic there. Nothing there. I can put it to sleep. Nothing there. Nick's the only one with super effective move against this thing. Oh my gosh. When you don't think it can get any worse, it gets worse. Um. Um. I guess I go into Drake. And put it to sleep. Because Yawn will work. What the fuck? I mean, hey, at least, and of course, Papa's dies literally the, uh, to the Uxi before this. Because. Why wouldn't Papa die to the Uxie before this? Because Papa was the only other mom that had a super effective move against this thing. Um, with x -Hizzer, Which, I mean, and it reflected. It had a reflect up. So, it really didn't matter anyway. Oh, my. Lanta. Like. Okay, two Brutal Swings did that to, that much to Nick. So, Nick survives no matter what. How do I get past this thing? Because if Nick dies, this becomes a struggle fest. And, like, that instantaneously becomes an issue. Why did Cresselia, of all mons in the universe, Cresselia is the one that, the, the already bulky water, the, the already bulky psychic type, the bulkiest psychic type in existence, if not the bulkiest mon in the Pokemon franchise. No, 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 no. Not only is the bulkiest mon in the franchise, here, it has Wonder Guard. And my only mon that can hit it is not force, is not fully evolved. Um. And it woke up turn one. Gosh! Why not? Let's, why not wake up turn one? That sounds like the best idea in the universe. Um. Well, crap. Um. And Mugai's being only gonna hit five times and you have a healing item, don't you? Oh no. This might just turn into a struggle fest anyway. Like this already has a possibility if you have a healing item to turn into a struggle fest no matter what because I can't do enough damage to you. Please tell me you don't have a healing item. That's all I'm asking, don't have a healing item. You don't, okay. We got past it. Well, we didn't, Curselia Cur with Wonder Guard, like, Oh, the things on this adventure. Like, we just found out the levels just hit like a freaking truck. And now we got Cresselia with a Wonder Guard that we have to worry about now. So we, like, we have to make sure we have coverage for Psychic types at all times. Oh, boy. What a, what a, what a fun adventure. Um... What sucks is we lost the normal flying type. Houndoom. Oh no, it don't be mega. I gotta swap. But how do I even handle this? Um. Fitta can't. I think I can discharge. Sandy doesn't. Sandy doesn't have moves to touch this. Daddy is super effective. And resists uh, one stab. Oh, this could be mega though, and it could just blow me up with something because it's on par. Um, it is not mega yet. Fiery dance. Uh, you can raise your special attack with that. Uh, you can become a threat. Uh, die, please. Oh god, you raised your special attack. Please die, because I won't. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness that crit mattered. <gasps> that crit, I definitely, that, that crit definitely mattered. There's no way that crit didn't matter. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow, this fight. Oh. This is not what we wanted. And this entire episode becomes dedicated to Guzma because of a Wonder Guard in Cresselia. What? Oh, do I let Nick evolve? Do I let Nick evolve? Do I let Nick evolve? I don't even know.
It's decision. Now we have to make a decision too. Crap. Because you could have a bad ability. Oh my gosh. Um. And I can't change it back if I decide. God. But Nick's special attack is so low. Does it even matter? Eevee light goes away though. Oh, I'm hesitant in making that decision. And. My decision is going to be... My decision is going to be no for right now. I need team stability and Nick's giving me that in these important trainer battles. As much as Nick's not doing the, like, damage. Nick's giving me stability in important trainer battles. I need to stop this evolution. I know it's weird. But we just lost Papa, and I need to figure out what my other team member is going to be. How my other team member is going to work across the team. And I need that stability. And I, I don't need Nick to have a bad ability and then lose, and basically, in essence, lose a second Pokemon. So, as much as that's a tough decision, because I want Nick to reach his full potential. <laughs> That's so difficult. I hate I hate that decision. That decision was almost more gut wrenching. Cause I mean that higher special attack would have made it a three hit KO or a two hit KO, but it's still not worth. Hmm. That decision was gut wrenching. Ah, oh. I mean, at least we're going right to. I think I have a Grubbin in the box, and if I do, that's exactly what I want. No, that's not, because it doesn't. It, it, that, uh, I don't have any team compatibility. I've, I've had, that's that's their biggest issue is our team compatibility errors, and we don't have any right now. Like I said, we're all slow. All my entire team is slow. Um, besides Latias or Latios, but La like I said, Latios has no Dragon Stab, so that doesn't help it at all. Um, ah, Papa just died, dude. Papa Agron just died. Um, Oh my gosh, my Gen 7 options have nothing. <sighs> okay, well, with Papa dead, I've got three options. I have three options in the Gen 7 slot. We have Unque You with Fake Tears, Cotton Guard, Giga Drain, and Crush Claw. We have, oh, I tried to spell Trump and it failed miserably, uh, or Joey. Joey adds another team conflict. That adds, I don't know what I would do or how I would handle that. All these are low levels, but we could either pick from that pile Because we're missing, with seven generations in six months, we're missing Gen 4 as well. Uh, protein Natasha wouldn't be bad, but I still haven't checked the legitimacy of Natasha. Infernape isn't bad, but it adds another team, uh, team issue. And Frosty's got a terrible moveset. Oh my gosh, our options... Dude, I hate the fact that our option. Uh, this is this is the part of the gen lock where it's hard, and this is why I create like I wanted to attempt one. I didn't create it, um, because you know I would love to just grab that mega Tyranitar and be like, boom, adding it to the squad. But I literally can't. It is literally against the rules for me to do such. I'm thinking UnQU is probably the best option. It's modest and liquid ooze. Oh, 
I hate that so much. I hate the fact that I have to make the choice. Because this is pointless for the team. Levitate isn't bad. But it's kind of pointless for the team as well. <clears throat> because a normal type. I'd rather have more coverage. And this does give me more coverage. Yeah, I, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with unQ you. Unq you. Welcome to the team. Uh, so Daddy is now the longest running member on the team. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, we're gonna train you up to level forty. Um, for t uh, Tuesday's episode, which is to like tomorrow's episode. But yeah, we'll see you guys then. What an interesting start to our week. We lose the starter. Hopefully, we can make it a little bit better. But we'll see you guys then. Bye!